Perfect. Y'all have a beautiful night. And they ain't gonna bring that magic night. Right. Either. Look at Esau. Look at Esau, man. Look at Esau, man. Thus saith the Lord. Hey, we giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. Messengers to Israel, we are out here again, man, for a beautiful Shabbat to wake up our people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to let you guys know that you're the Israelites the Bible speaks of, That's man. Right. You are God's chosen people, and we are seeing the end times about coming about right now. And if you don't get yourself together, repent, and come back to keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, which were only given to you and you only, then you will be destroyed amongst your enemies, especially here in Babylon the Great. That's Thus right. Thus the Lord, man. Right? So we gotta understand, man, that all the oppression that we have been going through, man, from generation after generation, all falls back on us. Because we were already signed into a contract, man, the moment that we came out of our mother's womb as an Israelite, man. We don't have the choice to, on, on what we're going to be born. You see, the so-called white men, they try to change all the laws. They'll sit there and say that, you know, when your child is born, you can decide what type of gender that child is going to be, right? Despite the fact that the Most High God made that child a woman or, or a man, right? But here... Right? As Israelites, man, we're going to keep thus saith the Lord, man. Right? And we understand as Israelites that he made us to be mighty. He made us to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. He made us to wake up our people, man. Right? And our people have been lost because we don't separate from our enemy. Let me get Cyrax uh, 6 and 13 real quick. And she got to preach up. The book of Exodus, chapter 24, and verse number 8. And brother, you're an Israelite the Bible speaks of, fam. All right? The Most High God loves you and you only, brother. That's right? That's right. Right? So you got to keep the commandments so you can look out for you and your son. I don't know about your lady. She ain't going to make it. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 24, and verse 8. Bring it up. And Moses took the blood mm -hmm. and sprinkled it on the people and said. See, that's the spirit, man. What did he say? Behold, uh -huh. the blood of the covenant, uh -huh. which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. See, we're getting ready to enter into Passover, man, right? In the next six, seven weeks, man, right? And that's a powerful precept. That covenant was already established, man, once the Most High God sent Yahweh Shai, man, right, to look out for the Israelites when Pharaoh was looking to kill every single firstborn Hebrew child, man, right? Yeah, Cyrax 6, uh, 6 and 13, right? Because a lot of our people, and it was really just for that brother, but he's already gone. Right, you can go ahead and drop that, man. Right, let me get Leviticus chapter 26, starting verse 13, Bible the show. Leviticus chapter 26, uh -huh. verse 13. Read up, man. Well, I am the Lord, your uh -huh. God, uh -huh. which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. See, the Most High God is always letting our people know that he is only the God of the Israelites, right? He is the Lord, our God. He is not the God of these wicked nations. He's right. not the God of the so-called Edomites, right? right? He's known as the so-called white man. He's right. known as the rape, robbery, and murder, dead, right? Man. Red man, dead man, walking on stolen ground, right. right? Hey, the Most High God is coming to save the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's and that's right. it, man. Hey, what's your nationality, sister? How you doing? Mexican. Mexican. So, now, you probably wouldn't see Mexican in the Bible, right? So the Most High God made 18 different nations, and I got good news for you, sister, right? You're an actual, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. Right? Everybody has a biblical nationality, right? And you are from the tribe of Issachar. Can I give you two scriptures so I can show, so I can let you know about yourself? Let me get Genesis chapter 49, right? Verse uh, 14. You give me uh, 2 Chronicles, right? Actually, 1 Chronicles, I believe. Chapter 12, verse 32, right? Look at Genesis. Chapter 49, verse 14. Bring it up. Issachar. Who? Issachar. So we're speaking about your people, sister. That's all right. right. So let's check it out. Issachar is a strong ass. It's a strong what? It's a strong ass. So you're strong like a donkey, right? Doesn't a donkey represent your nationality of people? Right? Let's find out. Read. Couching down between two burdens. See that? So nobody can outwork, right, a so-called Hispanic. Right. And the Most High God is the one who made you that way. Right. Nobody can outwork the Issacharites, who right. are Israelites, right? You're not Mexican, sister. That's right. a term that's given from your uh, from your oppressors. That's right. right? That's who right. raped, robbed, and murdered you, right? right? They're actually walking on your land right now, right? Walking on the bones of your ancestors, man, right? And we're waking up in these last days because we're living in the end times, 
And we're out here to warn you, sister, to let you know that you have to repent and come back to keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and loving the Most High God, who is only the God of the Israelites, all right? Because right? you're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar, right? And he also gave you guys another gift. This is how you know that you're Issachar. Read That's this. Right. Uh, First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. 12, 32. How you doing? Okay. What's your, uh, what's your nationality, if you don't mind me asking on your father's side? I got it. Ethiopian? Oh, we're not here for you. Zephaniah 2 and 12, the Ethiopian shall be slain by my sword. For That's great right. and murder, my people and God's people, man. You can keep it pushing up the block. Read this. First Chronicles, uh -huh. chapter 12, verse 32. Bring it up. And the children of Ishakar. No, the children of Mexico. And of the children of Ishakar. See, I love saying Ishakar, right? Because that's your true heritage. That's, that's right. what the Most High God calls you, right? Read. Which were men that had understanding of the times. Uh-huh. To know what Israel ought to do. So wasn't the so-called Hispanics, right? Dating all the way back with the Aztecs, even in the scriptures. The Most High God says that he gave the Issacharites the gift to be able to read the sun, the moon, the stars. To tell the Israel what? The heads of them. To, to know what Israel ought to do. Okay. Oh, to know what Israel ought to do. Right? And the reason why that he gave you about that. The reason why that he gave you guys that gift. Right? It's because it was important to let the rest of the tribes of Israel know what to do when the winter was coming. Right? How to gather up all the harvest and the food to make sure that we last during the winter. Or when it was time to go to war. Right? And they would get the signs from the Most High God who gave them the gift to be able to read the stars. Right? And you guys went into slavery first on ships. Right? And that's actually in the Bible. Bring out this precept. Second, uh, second chapter 13. The book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 3. And Moses, uh -huh. of the commandment of the Lord, right. sent them from the wilderness uh -huh. of Paran. Uh -huh. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. Uh -huh. Verse number 7. Of the tribe of Issachar. Of the tribe of who? Of the tribe of Issachar. Read. And Gaul, the son of Joseph. Mm. So you guys are heads, right? You guys are right. were made to be kings. That's right. You guys were made to be princesses, That's right. right? Of the Most High God. That's right. But they're calling you guys spits. They're calling you guys right. Mexicans, right? These are all bywords and proverbs that were given on our people That's for right. not keeping the commandments. Can I get Deuteronomy 28 and 15 if you don't mind, Bible the show? Now I'm going to show you, right, how we know. Now I've already given you two verses. We gave you three verses. But now we're going to deal with history. This is how you're going to know because you know your people went into slavery on ships. That's in the scriptures, right? But why is it that the Christian church has not been telling us this, right? Because the Most High God does not dwell in a building that's made from man's hands, that's according right. to Acts chapter uh, 7, verse 48. Bring that's this up. Right. Second, uh, chapter, second 13. chapter 13, so all the way um, at 40. Uh, at 40. Second verse chapter 40. 13, verse 40, read all the way to 46. Let's find out who got over here to America first. Uh -huh. Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 40. Bring it out. Those are the 10 tribes which- Go, go ahead. Those were the ten tribes which carried away prisoners out of their own land mm -hmm. in the time of Hosea the king. And who, and who is Hosea the king? Where is he from? Whom Salamanzar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. See, and we can see in history that your people went into slavery in the hands of the Assyrians. That's right. That's in the scriptures, right? Let's find out more. Read. And he carried them over the water. Mm -hmm. And so came they into another land. Right? So you guys were actually taken out of your original homeland. Right? Which really it comes from, it, it, which really is Jerusalem, right? According to Galatians 4 and 26, right? That's where we originally come from, because sister, you're an Israelite. That's and right. our original language was ancient Paleo Hebrew. That's right? right. The language that you guys speak, which is Spanish, right, comes from the Spaniards, who are known as Edomites, That's the so called white men. Read. Right. But they took this counsel among themselves mm -hmm. that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. That they would what? Leave the multitude of the heathen. heathen. So, we were separated, right? Out of the 12 tribes, you have the southern kingdom, which consists of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? Which would be known as the American Blacks, right? The Jamaicans, right? And the Haitians, right? And then the rest of these tribes are known as the northern kingdom. Right. So when Salmanazar, right, king of Assyria, took you guys captives, you guys got tired. And this is just like Israel. This is just like the northern kingdom. Right. You guys got tired of like, nah, I ain't with this. Right. I, I'm not down with this slavery. That's hey, right. Native Americans, hey, Seminole Indians, hey, let's get together, man. Let's have a let's have a meeting and see what we're gonna do about this. Because we're trying to leave the multitude of the heathen. Read. Right. And go forth into the further country. Mm -hmm. 
where never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind dwelt. Starting to ring a bell, right? Read. That they might keep their statutes, mm -hmm. which they never kept in their own land. Right. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow places of the river. Right. For the most high then showed signs for them. Right. Showed signs for them. Right. Because remember, he gave you guys the gift to be able to read the signs. Right. Right. And this is how you guys were able to even get over here. Right? right. You know when it was safe to go and travel. Read. Right. And hell stilled the flood. Uh-huh. Till they were passed over. Right. So he made sure that there wasn't no natural disasters. Right. Dealing with the waters to make sure you guys right. got over there safely. Because the most high God loves his people and his people only. That's right. For through that country there was a great way to go. Right, how long? Namely, of a year and a half. It took you a year and a half to get over here to America. Now the so-called white man today will say that it takes literally three years, right, to travel amongst the entire world, right? So if we're just gonna go off the so-called white man's time, this is pretty accurate, right? A year and a half it took for you guys to get to where? Can you see the read? And the same region is called Arsuric. The same region is called what? Arsuric! And another word for Arsuric is America. You see that? So when Christopher Columbus came over here, right, he already knew that you guys were over here because of this scripture that we just read right here. Right? Bring this up. The book of Psalms, chapter 44, verse 14. Thou makest us a byword. Among the heathen. What the most high God said? Thou makest us a byword among the heathen. Now you read in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 through 68. This is the biblical contract that the most high God established with your people and our people, right? This is how we know that we're the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because when you're dealing with verses from 15 all the way through 68, they're nothing but curses. Right. And this is what the brother is bringing out. He's reading one of the curses that were placed on God's chosen people because we didn't listen to the commandments back in the day. Read. Come on. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, uh -huh. a shaking of the head among the people. A shaking of the head amongst the people. Read. Verse 11. Uh -huh. Thou hast given us like sheep uh -huh. appointed for meat uh -huh. and hast scattered us among the heathen. Has scattered us among who? Among, among the, the heathen. heathen. Been spread on all four corners of the earth since the right. amongst heathens because if you are not on this 12 tribes list if you are not an israelite the most high god says that you're a heathen right and it's based off your father's seed your father is the one who establishes the nationality numbers 118 real quick so she knows that because we can't give you our own understanding we only speak the ordinances of the most high god so you know that we're not lying all right read the book of numbers chapter 1 verse 18 Knock. and they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day right. of the second month uh -huh. and they declared their pedigrees they declared their pedigrees who they are their nationality their heritage read after their families right after their own families right read by the house of their fathers no, by the house of the mothers by the house of their fathers see that so you are who you are through your father That's so right. the most high god is not dealing with skin color right? right he's dealing with a chosen bloodline right right because i got two sons right my ex-wife was uh is a so-called Mexican, right is a car right and my two sons you know what i'm saying they light skin long hair ponytail you know what i mean but guess what they're israelites you see what i'm saying because why I'm an Israelite. And hell, their mother's an Israelite, right? So these are things we got to understand. So now that you know, the Most High God calls you sister. He says you're an Israelite from the tribe of what? That's right. Say that one. I don't know how that sounds. Say that one more time. From the tribe of what? That's right. Hey, this is what he's commanded you to do before you leave. Because if I don't give you a commandment, right, from the Most High God, right, then I don't love you. Because according to scriptures, Love is keeping the commandments. Could you read right. John 14 and 15 real quick? Bring this up. Chapter 11. Deuteronomy chapter 10, starting verse 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Right? Bring it out. And now, Israel. And now, America. And, and now, now, Israel. So you'll see throughout the entire scripture system that the Most High God, come this way, Baba Shah, that the Most High God is only speaking to the Israelites. This whole entire book is only for us. That's right. right. Read. What doth the Lord thy God? Mm -hmm. Require me. See, now that you know you're an Israelite sister, the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh, because remember, we speak Hebrew. Yahweh is his name. Right? That's which right. Is, which means he exists. That's right. right. And who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shah, which means that he that delivers. Because the letter J wasn't even created until over 500 years ago. That's right. So how is that his name? Right? We got to debunk these lines, right? Say that with me, Yahweh. That's, that's right. That came out your lips. Come on. Language, sister. Right? Now say your house up. 
There we go. That's All right. right. Continue to read. Let's see what the Most High God Yahweh is requiring of you to do. Come on. But to fear the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To walk in all his ways. See, if you fear the Most High God, you're going to end up walking in his ways. Right? Read. And to love him. Uh -huh. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So it says to love him. And now you know that love is keeping the commandments. Right? Let's continue. To keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. Of the Lord. You no, know, we got free will, so we don't have to keep the commandments as Israelites. To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of, of the Lord, Lord and his statutes, mm -hmm. which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. for thy good. For thy good, sister. Right? Everything that the Most High God commanded his people to do is for your good. Right? That's right. Another thing that's for your good, I'm going to show you. Right? A port commandment. Go to Leviticus chapter 11. Right? Start at verse. Do you mess with the port? No, nope, you do? Yeah. Okay, let's see what the most high God says. What about like seafood? It's okay because look, we woke, we just woke up to this truth like three years ago. It's the most high God who decides who he's gonna give the spiritual knowledge and wisdom to, right? So before I realized that I was an Israelite, I used to eat pork all the time, right? That's right. But once I realized I was an Israelite and I read the scriptures and I found out that it was actually unhealthy for me, right? right. And that it was an abomination. That's I right. had to put it down. Let's right. find out why. Leviticus chapter 11, starting verse 7 real quick. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. Bring it out. Oh, about eight, nine scriptures, more than you ever get in a whole hour and a half service. Read. That's right. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. Though he divide the hook mm -hmm. and be cloven footed, mm -hmm. he yet he cheweth not the cut, right? He is unclean to you. What did the Lord say? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So we're not supposed to eat pork. What else are we not supposed to do with the pig? And their carcass shall ye not touch. Right, so we can't even be, you know, trying to have, you know, a Wilbur the pig from Charlotte's Web in our damn farm, man. Huh? Right? Because it's unhealthy for us. Read. They are unclean to you. Now, let's find out what we can eat that's in the waters. You see, the most high God says we can't mess with pork. So I love, right? I love Israelite food, right? So I had to put down the chorizo, right? And guess what? I'm all about carne right. asada. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Now, read verse 9. <laughs> These shall ye eat of that are in the waters. Hey, we out here for you. You so-called Hispanic? We out here teaching your people, right? Keep it going. Whatsoever have fins and scales uh -huh. in the waters, right. in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So anything you eat, it has to have fins and scales, right? So fish, right? There's certain fish that have fins and scales, like bass, tilapia, salmon, right? Tuna fish. These are the type of things that we can eat that's in the waters, right? We can't eat catfish. It's got fins, but it has no scales. Right. It's a smooth bottom feeder. Crab, shrimp, lobster, all these things will kill us. Because the other nations, they'll eat all this stuff, right? You can you see Chinese eat rat. All types of stuff, right? And they're not going to get diabetes. They're not going to get gout. But let us eat pork all of our lives. Let us eat, you know what I'm saying, these abominable foods. And what's going to happen? We're going to end up dying at an early age. I've seen it within my own family, right? Dealing with diabetes, man. Right? You got a piece up? Bring it up. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, and verse 23. Bring it up! And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So you have to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Right? Part of being renewed in the spirit of your mind, the Most High God says that you're an Israelite for the tribe of what again? It's a cause. See, that's the renewing of the mind. So you can't allow anybody to call you Mexican no more. Right? Read. And, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Right, because we want to be created in righteousness and true holiness. And I see you looking at your phone. I mean, uh, your, uh, your watch. I know you got to go. But I just want to get you this real quick. Uh, you got one on that? Bring it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. No. The woman mm -hmm. shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So society, right, will try to make like, like Dwayne Wade, the basketball player, right, will turn his son, right, and then name his son Zaza. Right, then walking around here in a damn dress at 12 years old, man, when he was created to be a boy, right? right. The Most High God says that men are not supposed to put on dresses, right? Cross dressing, things of that nature. We see that all up in Seattle, right? Because we are living in the end times. That's right. right. And the scripture says that, that when we're in the end times, it's going to be like it was in the times of Noah, when he had to destroy the place we walked. That's right. Now, the Most High God also says that women are not supposed to wear things that pertain to a man, right? So, what would pertain to a man, right? 
that uh, that a lot of our women wear. You know. <laughs> this all good. We like it's yes. pants. That's there true. That's, see, and see it? That's the spirit. That's the spirit. You knew that. You felt that, right? And only Israelites can feel that. That's right. Right? So now that you know that you're Israelite, it's a beautiful thing to put on a dress. See how these other nations, right, who are not Israelites, they'll sit there and leech onto our commandments, right? right? See, the Most High God is giving us an example, right. right? They'll leech on and cleave on to stuff that belongs to us, right? right? And then have us walking around here not keeping the commandments. Right. Because it's the so-called white woman who established women, and white man who established women to start wearing pants, right? right? Which was really established in the 50s, right? Because if you look back then, everybody was wearing dresses, right. right? It's a mighty thing to wear a dress. Because let's be real, right? If I gotta use the bathroom, right, I'm just gonna be real, right, and if you're a female and you're unzipping your pants, what are you about to pull out, right? You gotta sit down, you see what I'm saying? So how much easier would it be if you just sit down on the toilet, right, then you got a dress on, so you're actually covered up more on your legs. But if you sit down with pants on, right, you got your whole thighs and everything exposed. You got all these creeps creeping in, the dang little slap, you know, the little stall trying to look, it's just wickedness, man, right? So you gotta keep the commandments and wear a dress system, right? Bring this up. The book, right, one, the book of Psalm, chapter 119, right in verse 59. Right I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. So we can't think on the ways that we used to think about in the past. Everything, now that you just learned all That's this, right. you have to go and do the research yourself. You That's got your right. phone real quick before you leave? You see that white middle box right there on that sign over there? Could you please take a picture of that middle box? We have the YouTube channel. That way you can learn on your own time. Hit subscribe, right? Just in case you don't see us out here, because we're only out here on Fridays and Saturdays, right? Let's continue to read as she uh, takes a picture of that information. Verse 60, I made haste uh -huh. and delayed not. So you can't delay keeping these commandments, sister, right? Now that you know these commandments, you cannot sit there and just wait and be like, oh, I'll just, I'll put away the pants and start wearing the dress, you know what I'm saying, when I feel like it. Hey, the Most High God wants you to not wait. He wants you to get to this thing right now because he's coming to destroy this place. And he's only wants, he only coming to deliver his people, which is you, right, Reed? I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. All right, let's give this sister a huge Kwame Asherah. Kwame oh, sister, you're an Israelite from the tribe of what? That's right. That's right. Kwame right. Asherah. Kwame Asherah. Hey, that's what it's about, man. That's what we come out here to do is to wake up our people, man. Right. Leviticus chapter 26, man, right? Let's pick back up from Leviticus 26. Great precept pulling up. All Leviticus the whole side, man. chapter 26. Sorry, verse 13 again. Verse 13. Get up. I am the Lord your God, mm -hmm. which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, right. that ye should not be their bondmen. Mm -hmm. And I have broken the bands of your yoke, mm -hmm. and may you go up right. See, when the Most High God delivered his people out of Egypt, man, from the hands of Pharaoh, Right? We were originally set up, man, to be in a rulership, man. Right. right! We were originally set up, man, to have these heathens serving us. Right. That's right! But somehow we lost our way by not keeping the commandments. That's right. Real quick, hold that, put a finger on that, and give me our uh, Exodus chapter 23. Start at verse 32, Baba Kasha. Right, if you don't mind. Right? Exodus chapter 23. Yep, Exodus chapter 23, starting at verse 32. Right? Because he just said in Leviticus 26, man, right, that when he brought us out of Egypt, man, right, that these rest of these nations were supposed to be set up to be, right, our slaves, man. Right? Exodus chapter 23, verse 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, mm -hmm. nor with their gods. See, our people wanted to make a covenant, right, with these wicked ass gods, man, right? The gods of these other wicked nations, man. Especially once we got out of Egypt. Read. They should not dwell in thy land. Okay, so now what? They, they should, should not, not dwell, dwell in thy land. land. It was set up for them not to dwell in our land. That's right. right. Because this land was originally set up for the Israelites, man. God's chosen people, man. Right? Which is why we coming out here to keep the commandments, wake our people up, and take back the land that belongs to us. That's please. right. Lest they make thee sin against me. Right. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee. Right, and also if our white people is going into slavery. That's right. So I hope you guys are ready for that, man. Red right? man, dead man. Let's set the Lord, man. Right, so you can drop that. Right, go back to Leviticus chapter 26. Let's pick up from verse 14, Bible of Right? Right? Like, fact, we squeak on that sword, man. All praise the most high, man. Got that big Bible today, right? Leviticus chapter 26. Verse 
14, but if ye will not hearken unto me uh -huh. and will not do all these commandments. What's going to happen? And if ye shall despise my statutes, uh -huh. or if your soul. Hey, well, real quick, what's your nationality, King? With the hat on. What's your nationality? You so-called Hispanic or, or Asian? Or? Okay, never mind. Read. Abhor my judgments. Latino? No, 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 he said Asian. Hey, he said Filipino. Filipino. Yeah, he I said know, Filipino. Filipino. See, my back to these lows. So that ye will not do all my commandments, uh -huh. but that ye break my covenant. Right, and we broke the covenant that was originally for us, man, which is why our people are at the low bottom state and you're living in this wicked earth. Right. Read. I also will do this unto you. Uh -huh. I will even appoint over you terror. No, he's going to appoint over us blessings for not keeping the commandments. Terror! So he appointed terror. This is terror. Right. Rape, robbery, and murder, man. Right. This is why it's happened to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Because we don't listen to the commandments that was given to us, man. Right. Right? And now we're living in the end times where we are seeing Babylon the Great getting ready to be destroyed. We are seeing 9,000 troops of Russia, right, from Vladimir Putin, right, being destroyed from the hands of Ukraine, man, right, in these last days. And yet our people don't want to hearken up to the signs that the Most High God has given us, right? Hey, we almost at the end of this thing. Oh, Lord. God. Thus said the Lord, man. So it's time to purge out that leaven, man, that you still got in your spirits, man. We got to get our spirits right in these last days so that we can be prepared to get binged up in these chariots and get the hell up out of this captivity, man. Con! Con, read. Consumption! Uh -huh. And the burning of you uh -huh. that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of the heart. Right. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, right? For your enemies shall eat it. See, our enemies eat up anything that we sow, man. Right. right? We don't get to reap anything. Right. Right? Because the most high God set it up that way. That's right. right. Because he's a jealous God, man. Right, read. And I will set my face against you. Uh -huh. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. No, we're gonna be slain before our friends. Ye shall be slain! Before your enemies. How you doing, sister? You're an Israelite. Like the Bible speaks of. That's right. Can't keep the commandments in these last days. That's right. Or we're gonna be slain before our enemies. Read. They that hate you uh -huh. shall reign over you. Right. And all these wicked ass nations hate the so-called blacks. That's, That's right. The Ethiopians hate us. Right. The so-called white man hates us. Where right. Give me seven, nine, two, and twelve. We love you. Let's find you. Love me. What is love according to the scriptures? You better listen to your friend. See, your friend knows what's going on. You enter into the lion's den. Did right. you know that? Yeah, you love me? Zephaniah, chapter 2, chapter verse 14. 12. Read it out, King. Ye Ethiopians who, who, also. Who is the most high God talking to you, call? Ye Ethiopians also. You're Ethiopian, right? Let's see what the most high God has to say. Ye shall be slain by my sword. What did God say was going to happen to your people? The Bible. The Bible. The B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. That's what we read. So what Let's read it again. <laughs> ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. Precept. Precept. The book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 3. For I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. the Holy One of Israel. Oh, the Holy One of the Ethiopians. The Holy One of Israel! And holy means separate. So we're trying to separate from you. So you can be dismissed. Read. Thy Savior, uh -huh. I gave Egypt for thy ransom. Right. Ethiopia for what? and Seba uh -huh. for thee. For thee. You guys are already preserved to be destroyed for what you guys have done to God's chosen people with rape, robbery, and murder. You know that. You, come on. You know. Come on. Let's stop playing. Let's stop chucking and jiving, man. Right. right? Why you up here with some damn ones on trying to dress like us, man? Right? Just go with your friend, right? Who made the smart decision and knows not to answer to the lion's den, or you're going to get your damn judgment. Thus said the Lord. Look at Revelation chapter 13, right? Revelation 13, verse 10. We get Isaiah. We got another one bringing up. Revelation 13, 10. Bring it out. He that leadeth into captivity. Hey, didn't your people lead our people into captivity? The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, according to history? You have no answer? You just quiet? Read. <laughs> shall go into captivity. All right, shall what? Shall go. go into captivity. What is this quiet Ethiopian acting like all of a sudden he can't speak English is going to go? Shall, shall go, go into, into captivity. captivity. Read. 
He that killeth with the sword uh -huh. must be killed with the sword. Right? Here is the patience and the faith of the saint. Would you consider yourself a saint? Right. That's a great exactly. answer. Very That's an answer. The book of Ezekiel. The honest Ezekiel. Yeah. Yeah. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 30, verse 1. Yeah. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, What he said? Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord God, uh -huh. Hell ye, woe, worth the day. Verse 5. Uh -huh. Ethiopia. Who? Ethiopia. And Libya. Right. And Lydia. Uh -huh. And all the mingled people in Chub. And the men of the land that is in the league. So look, that is in league. Shall fall. Shall what? Shall fall. Because you guys are all bad. And how are you guys going to fall? Read. With them by the sword. By the what? By the sword. Right. And the most high guy's got a sword on the right side. That's which right. is dealing with the Israelites. Who he's going to use right. in the end time to come and gather up all you heathens. And bring y'all to your rightful place in the land of the Lord for slavery. And he's got a sword on the left side dealing with military power. Dealing with wickedness. Dealing with bombs. Dealing with ICBM missiles. Dealing with gunpowder. Dealing with whatever, man. Right. And you're going to be slain by it. That's right. And I know you don't feel that. But you know why you don't hate us? Because you get to walk around here on stolen ground, right? You know that we at the bottom, right? So it's easy for you not to hate us, right? Hey, what's your nationality? What's your nationality, man? Right? You just took a picture, right? What's your nationality? What's what your, your nationality? What's your nationality? What's your can't race? hear you. Where are you come, come talk to me. I can't hear you. You, huh? just, you took a picture. Just say it on the Come here. Talk to me. I ask you a question. You're a what? Human. That's not a nationality, man. Did you graduate high school? What is your nationality? Are you so called white, man? Let's stop chucking and jiving, man. Are you a, a Hispanic? What is your nationality, man? What would you mark on an application if you went and applied for Nordstrom's right now and they gave you a choice of nationality to mark? Like, what would you mark down? I just asked you a question, man. Human? Well, most of our guys not dealing with human, man. Right? That's not a nationality, man. We're trying to figure it out, brother. Because you could be an Israelite. We're trying to figure out if you're an Israelite, man. Right? We already know they're not Israelites. That's right. So I'm asking you. Because if you're an Israelite, then we're here for you. That's why I'm asking you. Do you see yourself on this sign? This sign right here. Look at this. All the way down. Do you see yourself just on this right here? Or do you see yourself on this sign? Answer the question, man. How you doing, Kenny? What's your nationality? Hey, uh, so what? Abel? What's your nationality? You feel okay? Yeah. Okay. I met you You met me before? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. I only remember my people. Chad. Yeah. At who? Chad. I don't know that. Oh, sorry. I'm saying screw all things. At where? Chad. Yeah, pull it up. I don't even know where that place is, man. See how you see up this kind of lot, right? So are you going to tell us your nationality, man? If not, we're going to continue teaching our people, man. Because y'all wasting our time. I know my nationality. I'm an Israelite from the That's tribe right. of Judah. Thus saith the Lord, man. Right? Because my people have been on slave ships, right, from the hands of our oppressors. And the Bible says that that would happen to the real biblical Israelites. That's right. We need Deuteronomy 28.68. This guy thinks that we don't know what we're talking about. Uh, man, right? Deuteronomy 28.68, man. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, again. With, with ships. Can I get Exodus 20 and 2 real quick? Uh, I think... With ships. Hold that, right? Give me Exodus 20 and 2. It says that the Most High God will bring his chosen people, the Israelites, into Egypt again. But with look at ships. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Well, read, yeah. Before we read that, we know that when the Israelites got out of Egypt, crossed that Red Sea, that we didn't turn around and make an about face and go back into Egypt, right? Hey, sister, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? Man, the Ethiopians are all over the place. Read. But look at Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Yeah. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the lands of Egypt. Let's find out what Egypt means in the Bible. Out of the house of bondage. The house of bondage. In another word for bondage. Are you listening, man? Right? Y'all just enjoying the show, huh? Right? All right. Now, it says that you might want to listen to her and just right, keep it pushing. Right. Hey, hey, but, hey, what's the nationality, King? 
Y'all want to see us? Yeah. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. We out here for you. We out here for you. All praise the most high, man. Right? Y'all y'all dismiss. We're not here for you, man. Y'all dismiss, man. Hey, do you see yourself in on this sign? The most high God, you will probably be an uh, Israelite from the tribe of Issachar, all right? Right. So-called Mexican, right? What about you? Where do you see yourself? Israel. Israel, that's right. Right? So you guys now know that you're the Israelites, the Bible speaks of God's chosen people, man. Right? So we got to keep the commandments in these last days because he's coming back to save his people and his people only. Right? Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that? That God is only the God of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Yeah. Where did you hear that from? Uh, All praise. Israelites in uh, Honduras? Yeah, yeah. Si. Oh. Uh, did they have uh, bridges on? Bridges? Si, si. Este. Uh, he's wearing bridges. Mira, he's wearing fringes, right? As Israelites, we got to wear fringes, right? And this is why, right? I got it. Numbers. This is Numbers. Chapter 15. Este por qué? Uh, you have a, uh, fringes. This is Numbers, chapter 15, verse. Hey, keep it down. We're bringing out the Bible. For real. Damn, man, get that, so, that Ethiopian accent out of here. Hey, hey, one more. Hey, yeah, Mingo, this is it right here. Un, un momento, un momento, por favor. Por favor. Come on. El jefe, hey. Tiene, uh, uh, tu el jefe en el mundo. As an Israelite. El rey, tú y tu amigo, reyes de el mundo. That's right. All right? As Israelites. All right, look at that Ethiopian woman. Takes the men of the Lord, man, and takes right. them away from the sea, man. Right? right? And y'all want to sit there and follow them, man. This is why we can't stand this place. We can't wait for this place to be destroyed, man. Thus said the Lord, man. Let me get Leviticus chapter 26 and jump to verse 22. This is ridiculous, man. There's a bunch of spirits out here, man. Right? Leviticus chapter 26, verse 32. Bring it out. Verse 22. No. I will also send wild beasts among you. And didn't we have wild beasts right. really come amongst us right now, man? Right. right? Hey, sometimes the Most High God will do these things, man, to really kind of test our spirits, man. Right. Right? To see if we're really about defending this gospel, man, right. and waking up our people, man, in the midst of wicked streets. Which shall rob you of your children. What have these Ethiopians and the rest of these wicked so-called white men and nations have done? Which, Which shall rob you of your, your children. children. And they literally took our children. That's right. right. Dealing with slavery. And right. then took them to a whole other slave master, man. Right. right. Just did it just now, right? Right. That's a great point, man. Right. man. Right, we seen that with the damn movie Roots, man, with Kuta Kente, man, right? All the way down to the damn grandson, man, right? Still having to be taken away, man, from his family, man, right? In the hands of our enemies, read. And destroy your cattle, uh -huh. and make you few in number, right? And your highways shall be desolate. Right, and our highways shall be desolate, man, right? All the streets, all the lands that was promised to us have now been desolate, man. That's right. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man, hey. You look like you might be an Israelite, man, right? You so-called black man? No. All right, so you will be an Israelite, brother, from the tribe of Judah, That's right? right. Yeah. You're God's chosen people. You gotta keep the commandments and repent in these last That's days. That's right, right, As an Israelite, brother, all right? Yeah. And so is your child. Your child's an Israelite too, brother, all right? All praise on the most side, man. Read, uh, uh, chapter 33. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 33. Read up. Yeah. What has the Lord done? I and will I will scatter you among, among the heathen. heathen. And that's why we got to come out here, man, and defend this gospel. No matter where we go, we are going to be around these damn heathens, man. Right. Right? That's why we got to build our people to the marriage. We got to put the energy, put the effort, man. Right? We got to come week in, week out, day in, day out, in season, out of season, man, just to fish our people, man. That's right. Read. It will draw you out a sword after you. And your land shall be desolate, and your city's waste. Right. And that's all we're looking around right now, man. This whole place is desolate. It's a waste. Right? right. Ain't nothing glamorous about this, man. Right? 
Especially when we know what the Lord's kingdom is going to be looking like, man. Yeah. Right. According to the scriptures, man. Right. right. You need to tell, man, there's nothing There's nothing here that's going to compare to the Lord's kingdom, which are only right. the Israelites. That's right. Hey, what's your nationality, man? Look at the backpack. Pink backpack. What's your nationality? Egyptian. Egyptian? That's a lie and a half, man. Right? Read. Uh, drop that. Give me, uh, give me songs, right? It's a bunch of wicked. Let me get songs after 107. Psalms 107, sorry, verse 10, Bible the Shah. So right? Psalms 107, verse 10, Bible the Shah. And if you don't mind, um, could you give me Psalms chapter uh 119, verse 134, Bible Psalms chapter 107, verse 10. Bring it up. Such as sit in darkness and in shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Being bound in affliction and what? And iron. And iron, right? Who were bound in affliction and iron, man, right? Read that verse again. Such as sit in darkness. Such as sit in what? Darkness. And didn't our people, the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, at the bottom of them damn ships, man, right. right? Sitting in darkness, man, right? That's dealing with the Israelites, man, which is why our people gotta wake up to who they are, man, right? And stop following the ways of your enemies. Stop calling yourself an African American, man. Stop calling yourself the names that were given to you by the so-called damn white man, man. Right. right? Because he wasn't the one that was sitting at the bottom of that damn ship in right. darkness, man. Right. Right? What else were we doing? Bring that L. In the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Being bound in affliction and iron, man. What right. were we the ones that had irons on our neck, That's man, right. at the bottom of that damn ship, man? That's right. That's right? a fact. Being sold to our damn enemies? That's a fact. Where a so-called white woman can just walk around with her damn Starbucks like everything's all good and dandy? Right? right? Hey, judgment's coming upon these wicked nations for what That's they right. do to God's people, man. That's right. And you can't hide from it, man. Right? Everything that you're seeing with Russia, right, and Ukraine, man, right, this is all prophecy. Hey, sister, what's your nationality? Are you so-called Hispanic? Sister? Are you Hispanic? So-called? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. We're not going to be chasing our people. Right. We're not chasing everybody, right. man. Right? You don't want to get the spiritual knowledge and wisdom, man. Hey, you just gonna miss out. Right. Let's say the Lord. Let's get that uh, down here this way. <laughs> oh, somehow we keep going that way. <laughs> Let's get the Lord. Uh, read that one more time. I like that verse. Psalms 107, verse 10. Bring it out. Such as sit in darkness mm -hmm. and in the shadow of death. Right? Being bound in affliction in iron. Being bound in affliction in iron, man. Right? We gotta find hope in Yahweh by sending all his child, man. Right? Because us sitting in that darkness, being bound in affliction with iron, has caused Stockholm Syndrome, man. Right. right? To the point where our people don't even know who the hell they are in these last right. days, man. Our people have totally forgotten who they are. Look at Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Father Bashar. You got that Psalms 119? 134, Father Bashar, if you don't mind? The book of Psalms, chapter 119. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, real quick, I got two scriptures for you, man. Okay? Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know Oh. You don't believe in the chart. You say you know the truth, but you don't believe in the chart. I don't. I believe that's the problem. What scripture was? Like? So these are Gentiles. Let's find out. Let me get Genesis, right? So you don't think that the so-called Hispanics and the Native Americans are Israelites? That's what you're saying. Only three. Give me second answers, man. Chapter thirteen. You sure about that? With no fringes on, brother. Come on, brother. Don't come up here cooning, brother. I'm not cooning, but I know the truth. So I where's your fringes then? I don't agree with the I'm going to go there, brother. You I don't come up cocky. I'm going to go there. Where's not your fringes, I'm brother? Not, I'm not being where's your fringes? You said you know the truth, truth, brother. I, I was just trying to give you a scripture. I and you came up here, and you're not trying to hear nothing about the scripture. I don't believe in the charts. Well, you don't believe in the most high God. If you don't believe, then it's people. I believe in the most high. The book of Joel. I don't believe in those charts. Bring it out. The book of Joel. He ain't thinking about it. Bring it out. Those charts. Hey, brother, these are seeing in order. The scriptures are coming out, brother. You just talking, brother. You got to read all over your damn You guys are right Come on, man. The book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 6. That's what you got to do. The children also of Judah. Of who? Of Judah. And the children of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Dealing with the northern tribe, read. Have ye sold to the Grecians? Have ye sold to the what? Have ye sold to the Grecians? These men don't know what's going at on. All. At all. At all, man. Right? And Jerusalem. Why you so only, mostly, three, only three tribes went into slavery. Could you That's how unstudied and misguided you are. Bring out a scripture. These ten, the other ten tribes went into Assyrian captivity. Right. Yeah, right. Right. But that's not the right. Smallest. 
Gentiles. So, so, so who are they then? Heathens. Who are they? Gentiles. Heathens. You guys Heathens. are misleading. Heathens. Gentiles. He just said, this Gentiles man just said Heathens. that the other ten tribes went no, into no, slavery no, 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 no. with the Syrians. And then I asked him, right, how do you Look, explain that? Only Judah and Benjamin went into Deuteronomy. The other ten tribes got cursed. Years before we went to slavery. Are you sure about it's that? It's an abomination. Are you sure about any first king? It's to say that it's to say you sure that about that? I'm positive about that. So why don't you stay up here and let's see if you're right. Are you sure? Give me Acts 5, 29. Because this is not an argument. You guys are misleading. And then you, get, and then you give me that. You guys are free. We want to show you you're wrong. wrong. We're going to show you that you're wrong. Are you going to just keep talking? Or can we show you out the scriptures? 25. I'm not going to Because where I'm at in my study, I'm a level ahead of you guys, and I'm trying to teach you guys. <laughs> your friends, you guys don't want to learn. Oh, that, how are you going to teach me no Bible, man? Y'all are unsteady. Where's your friends, man? But listen, the Bible's in my head. I know this. Why are you cutting down into your hairline, man? I know that. You're saying that I'm being caught. Do you know how much blood is on your hands? Acts 5, 29. A lot of blood. Hey, your blood is not on my hands. I'm trying to wake you up. You don't want to listen. That's true. Acts 5, 29. We got to play a God right the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Get up. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, What did he say? We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. We ought to obey what? We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. We ought to obey what? We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. He obeyed the most of God. We don't obey Right? That's not the most all over the place. Black. No damn all man. Talking about so the so you use the 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 chart. You have no clue what you're talking about, That's what you want. Read up. That's what you want. You're Ethiopian. 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 you are Fringes! No, that you make uh, a keychain right. right with no fringes, right? right? With weed all over your damn mask. Right. And, and a sideshow bob haircut. Right, yeah. that they make them fringes uh -huh. on the borders of their garments right. throughout their generations. Throughout their generations, man. Right. But this brother wanna come up here and talk about I know the right. law. See, we really was trying to deal with our brother with love, but when we put hey, what's your nationality? We already know, we're not here for you. This is the second time you walked up here. Right? Okay, you can look, that's fine. Just don't touch nothing. Now, let's get back to the matter at hand. Right? Do you still got that Psalms 119? Do you even got all that? Psalms 119, 134. Right? Hey, it gets like that sometimes. Welcome to Seattle, man. Oh, you good, man. You good. It's a lot of spirits out here. You good. And then remember, it's just us three, man. Right? Sometimes we gotta, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sometimes we gotta charge it up a little bit, man. Right? Sometimes you gotta yell, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Hey, we work together as a team up here, man. Just said the Lord, right? Uh, yeah, Psalms 119, 134. The book of Psalm, chapter 119, verse 134. Yeah, no. Deliver me from the oppression of man. See, we want to be delivered from the oppression of man. When our people is walking up and down these streets, right, yelling at their own people, the men of the Lord, don't we even want to let us get a scripture out, man, right? right? That is because they are oppressed, right, by the so-called white men. Right. And they're dealing with Stockholm Central to where they can't even deal with their own people, right? Right? They get jealous, they get envious, right? right? They hate their own people, man. Read. Deliver me from the oppression of man. Uh -huh. So will I keep thy precepts. And that's why we're gonna continue to keep these precepts. Right. And not come off our own understanding, right. man. Right? We're not worried about people that wanna come up here and try to disprove this truth. Uh -uh. Because everybody that tries to say that the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans are not Israelites, then we ask him, okay, if these 10 tribes are not Hispanic and Native American, right. then who the hell are they all? Right. Right? right? Right. Right? So and they have, they have no answer. It makes no sense, man. Just step through the door, man. We can't make this stuff up, man. Right? Let me get Psalms 144 about this shot. Right? Psalms 144. Actually, no. Psalms 139. That's what I want. Psalms 139. Thus said the Lord, man. Right? Psalms 139, verse. Uh, give me verse uh, 19. And read all the way to 24. Oh, verse 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O oh God. And see, these are prayers that the David is saying right. to the Most High God. Bring that out. Surely the Most High God will slay the wicked, right? right. Who French kisses on the damn middle of the street, right? right. 
Nothing but dog slobbing, you know what I'm saying? Right. Exchanging dog slob, right? right? Dogs kiss the Depart dogs. from me, therefore, ye bloody men! Right. Uh -huh. For they speak against thee wickedly! And we've seen all these enemies come up speaking against the men of the Lord wickedly. Right. Speak, and they really, they're not even speaking against us. They're speaking against the Most High God That's wickedly. Right. Because right. all we're doing is bringing out the scriptures to wake our people up, That's man. It. And these people don't want to hear it, man. Right. Especially our own people. Because we are stiff neck and we've been destroyed for a lack of knowledge because we've been following damn Bob the Builder, man. Right. And thy enemies take thy name in vain. Right, and they take our name in vain, man. Calling us African American, right? Calling us Mexicans, right? Talking about that the Hispanics and Native Americans are not Israel, right? Just in vain, man. Read. Do not I hate them, O Lord? What did David say? Do, Do not, not I hate them, them O Lord? Lord. Last I checked, David was looked as perfect amongst the Most High God. That's right. And David said, Do I not hate them? Right? The the so-called white man, do I not hate them? The Ethiopian man, do I not hate them? Right? right. The damn African Hamite, do I not hate them? The Chinese, the Ammonites, right? The Japanese, do I not hate them? Read. Right. That hate thee! Right, because they hate the Most High God. We've seen examples of that, man. Right? They won't even allow us to get the scriptures out to prove our point, man. To defend the gospel, man. They hate the Most High God. Read. And am I not I grieve mm -hmm. with those that rise up against me? And it grieves our heart, man, when we see an Ethiopian lady take two Issacharites, right, and then push them up the street to keep right. them from hearing the word, man. That grieves our heart, man, because we truly love our people and want our people to wake up and separate from all this wickedness, man. Read. I hate them with a perfect hatred. What did David say? I hate them with, with a perfect, perfect hatred. And that's how we hate these other enemies, man, with a perfect hatred, man. Right. right? What is that perfect hatred? Exactly how the scripture tells us how to hate them. That's right. The scripture tells us to separate from that enemies, man, that's according right. to uh, Sirach 6 and 13. That's right? right? That's called perfect hatred. The scriptures say in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31, right, to not envy the damn oppressor that's and choose right. none of his ways. That's how we hate them with perfect hatred, right? Uh, right? The scripture says, gather yourselves together, right? Oh, nation not desire, right? Sister, you're an Israelite, the Bible speaks to us, sister. Right? right? Gotta keep the commandments, right? And put right. on a dress in these last days, sister. That's right? right. Put on a dress, you might get you a husband, man, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> Read. I count them mine enemies. He counts them what? I count Not them mine enemies. enemies. Search me, oh Yahweh. See, and this is this is how humble David is, man. David seeing the oppression of his people. David seeing how all these enemies, man, are trying to attack the men of the Lord. Hey, brother, across the street, you an Israelite? The Bible speaks so. Sister, across the street, you an Israelite? Got to keep the commandments. That's right. right? And repent in these last days, man. Nah. Right? Read. Search me, O oh God, mm -hmm. and know my heart. Right? Try me and know my thoughts. See, we're going to come out here week in and week out, right? You know what I'm saying? Right? To wake our people up. Right? Thus said the Lord. Let me see that. Oh, look. Who are these? What am I doing? Oh, okay. Oh, long as I'm teaching. That's fine. I'm good. Right? Oh, it's on the camera, man. It's on the camera. Hey. He proved all things. But he said you said I was in a club, man. No, no, right? no, 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 no. That's what it sounded like. No, no. Just remember that area that they closed off? There's a come, say, come, Chad. Come. Chad. Yeah. Chad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Capitol yeah. Hill. Capitol Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Capitol Hill. Yeah. 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 Some card games. Oh, you was on Chad. Well, that's a long time ago, man. No, I put this up on Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll praise him. I'll praise him. You guys are the true Jews. Amen. Hey, can you say that? This is spoken from an Ethiopian. Can you say that one more time? I believe it. Just say that again. We need, like, our tribe? people need to hear this. Right? No, say what you just said. You believe that yeah. who are the true Jews? Yeah. And who else? Hispanics yeah. and Native Americans are what? The true Jews. See that? Oh. All President of outside. Now let's continue. The ones that are there right now are fake. All right. Yeah, that's right. Now let's continue. Now, uh, uh, go to verse 24. I want to show you. I want to show you that I'm not lying. You know, how to I understand. So and, and the scriptures say that who, and the scriptures say whoever blessed Israel shall be blessed. Now, amen, amen, and see if there be any wicked way in me. And we're gonna go and always check ourselves, man. Especially when we come out here in the highways and hedges. It is a major responsibility, right? It is. We are putting ourselves on the line when we step out here on the highways and hedges, man, right? Teaching us in the Lord. Because we actually are held more accountable because we are actually reading the scriptures and learning the commandments and teaching our people to do so. So if we're out here teaching, right? 
Best believe we are repenting and we are asking the Most High God for forgiveness right. every single day because we are living in corruptible bodies. And David says that I hate my enemies with perfect hatred, man. But he also says, check my heart to make sure that this feeling that I have towards my enemies is a feeling that you have, Most High God, right? Read 24 again. And see if there be any wicked way in me. Uh -huh. And lead me in the way everlasting. And we know that the Most High God sees David as perfect. So there was no wicked way in David when he was saying that prayer to the Most High God, man. And thus as Israelites, we want to pray for our enemies to be destroyed. Our people are sitting there praying for Ukraine. What, what, why are you praying for Ukraine, man? Right? This is part of their judgment, man. Right? Ukraine has had their hand in rape, robbery, and murder of God's chosen people. Right. So we're not praying for Ukraine. That's right. right. Let me get John 17 and 9. Right? Let me tell you who the hell he's praying for, man, in these last days. John 17, verse 9, by the shot. Right? Let's deal with this thing, man. Right? And uh, can I get, uh, whenever you get done with the instance, can I get Psalms 144, uh, John. verse 6? That's that frankincense and murder, man. John 17, mm -hmm. verse 9. Bring it out, King. Let's see what we pray for. I pray for them. We pray for who? I, I pray, pray for, for them. them. That them is the Israelites, right? Read. I, I pray, pray not, not for, for the, the world. world. So we're not praying for the rest of the world, man. Because this world is ran by wickedness. We only pray for them, the Israelites, the so-called Black Hispanics, and Native Americans. And that's out of the words of Christ. Which means that Christ is only being a mediator for his chosen people, right? Because Matthew 15, 24 says that he is only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's and we right. say, oh, hello, Yahweh. But I still must come like Yahweh shine for that, man. Thus said the Lord. You can drop that, man. Let me get Psalms chapter 144. Starting verse 6, read all the way through 8 of the Psalm. The book of Psalms, chapter 146, yeah, verse 6. Or selected. The book of Psalms, chapter 144, verse 6. Get up. Cast forth lightning. Uh -huh. And scatter them. See, David was praying for his enemies to be destroyed. Hey, us as men of the Lord, we're praying for our enemies to be destroyed. And this is how the Most High God is going to destroy them. Could you read that from the top again? Cast forth lightning uh -huh. and scatter them. All right? Shoot out thine arrows. Shoot out thine what? Shoot out thine arrows uh -huh. and destroy them. And destroy them, read. Send thine hand from above. Mm -hmm. Rid me and deliver me. Out of great waters. So we want to be delivered out of these great waters, man. Right? Real quick, go to uh, hold Isaiah 30. Can you give me uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 15 real quick, right? We got to be delivered out of these great waters, man. What are these great waters? Well, let's find out through the scriptures, man. Because the scriptures say, read precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, to get a full understanding, man, of what the Most High God is saying to his Revel chosen people. Revelation chapter 17, verse 15. Revelation chapter 17, verse 15. Bring it out. And he said unto me, uh -huh. the waters which thou sawest. The waters which thou sawest, which were asking to be delivered, right? Read. Where the whore sitteth. Where the whore sitteth, right? Read. Our peoples and multitudes uh -huh. and nations and tongues. See that? So we got to be delivered out of these wicked nations, man. Thus said the Lord. That's man. Right. right. And that's the type of prayers that we're sending up in these last days. That's we're not right. sending up prayers, man. Right. For the most high God to calm down all the death, famine, uh, pestilence, and rumors of war. Right. No, man. We want this thing to kick up even more. Man. That's right. right. Thus said the Lord. Because the faster this stuff kicks up, man, the faster prophecy is going to unfold. The faster that we keep the commandments and keep uh, reaching our people, the faster we're going to get the hell up out of here. Hey, sister, what's your nationality? The so-called black woman? You're an Israelite, sister, from the tribe of Judah, sister. That's right. Right? And the Most High God says you got to keep the commandments and repent these last days so you can get redeemed up out of this land, man. Right? You can drop that. Go back to Isaiah chapter 30. You can drop Isaiah. that. Isaiah! Isaiah! Isaiah chapter 30, sorry, verse 1, and we all know the truth about it, Sean. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Get up. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, uh -huh. that take counsel, right. but not of me. Hey, see, we are rebellious children, man, as Israelites, man. We don't want to return back to our heritage, man. Right? We want to continue to live in the wickedness of Babylon the Great, man. Read. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. Right? That they may add sin to sin. See, the man of the Lord is trying to tell you, man, to repent in these last days, man. You, as Israelites, know that you have to repent, but yet you want to continue to add sin on top of sin, right? You're adding sin on top of sin once you have the knowledge and understanding of what a sin is, and yet you continue to do it, right? That's why we thank the Most High God for grace, man. 
right? Because without grace, man, we all be dead and walking around here, man. That's Israelite, three. That walk to go down into Egypt. That walk to go down into what? Into Egypt. Right, our people are concerned, right, about the ways of America, right? Instead of walking to come to the men of the Lord and learn their heritage and nationality, brother, you're an Israelite. Brother, hey, brother. See, our people hate each other, man, right? Our people hate each other. But if I was over here trying to sell some damn CDs, right, or hip hop, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or trying to sell some damn drugs, you probably would have stopped, right? Oh, that walk to go down into Egypt uh -huh. and have not asked my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh right. and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Black people trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. Right? And isn't this place known spiritually as Sodom and Egypt? That's right. According to Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, man. Right? Our people trust in the ways of America, man. Right? And you're pretty soon you're going to find out that America is going to be a complete desolate waste. Come on! You'll trust in this place, man. Read. Therefore, shall the strength of the Pharaoh be your shame. So you want to put all your strength into America, right? right? It's going to be your shame. I don't, I don't, I don't shake hands with my enemies. Okay. Right. You good? Yeah. Hey, it's all up. That's yeah, the Lord. Like What's up? Yeah. Yep, love's keeping the commandment. Now, read that again. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Right. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. See? So you don't want America to be your shame, man. Right? And what's up with all these nations trying to flee to us tonight, man? Right? Let me get Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. You know what? That's right, Maccabees. It's the end of the world, man. Right? And they know, man, that the most high God is sending judgment, man. That's right. right. You guys are literally getting examples, man, right? Of Ethiopians trying to cling to the men of the Lord. That's right. right man. Let me get Isaiah chapter 14, right? Start in verse 1 and 2. Because the scripture says this is going to happen. And it's especially going to happen in the Lord's kingdom. But sometimes the most high God will give you examples ahead of time. Are you guys ready to go to slavery? Right. For what you guys did to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Native Americans, that's right. God's chosen people? Right. Walking on stolen ground? Right. Hey, stolen hey, ground. Kings, hey, king across the street. Princesses across the street. We love y'all. Y'all Israelites, man. Thus said the Lord. The Lord loves you and you only. We got to repent and keep the commandments, all right? Bring this up. Uh, chapter 14, verse 1. One. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And see, the Lord's going to have mercy on the Israelites, man. Those who keep the commandments in these last days. Read. And will yet choose Israel. No, he's going to choose all these other nations. Israel. Read. And set them in their own land. Right, because we're not in our land, guys. Right? We have to be placed back into the land that belongs to us, which is the land of the Lord. Read. Right. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The Ethiopians, the Chinese, the Japanese, the so-called right. white man. Hey, if you're not Israelite, you will be joined with us in the Lord's kingdom. Let's find out for what, though. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. What are these Ethiopians and the rest of these wicked nations been doing all night? They shall what? Cleave to the house of Jacob. You can drop that, man. Right? And they're going to continue to keep cleaving to the men of the Lord in these last days, man. That's right. right? Hey, even a lot of you wicked ass women, man, who don't want to hearken up, man, right? And be virtuous women in these last days, right? And the most high God, hey, you might lose your head, man, right? You're going to be caught up out here, and you're going to be cleaving to the men of the Lord, man, right? right? You ain't going to no longer be concerned about cleaving to men who want to be in the world, right? You're going to start cleaving to the real men of the Lord in these last days, man. Right. Thus said the Lord. Let me get Isaiah chapter 30, 33, verse 6, man. Right? Because we got to understand the times that we are in, uh, entering in right now, man. Right? We are living in the end times right now. You got one hour, man, right, to repent and come back to the Most High God before this place comes to naught, man. Before this place becomes new food, right? For what the so-called white woman and white man have done That's to the right. so-called black man in America. Right? Right? Thus said the Lord. Look at Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, Bob and Shah. Isaiah! Chapter 33, verse 6. Read out. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Uh -huh. And strength of salvation. And strength of salvation. Wisdom and knowledge. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Brother with the trench brother. coat. Yeah, brother, you might be an Israelite, man. Destroyed. Kind of look like dude off uh, Nicola. What's that movie? Moles? Read. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Is his what? Is, is his, his treasure. treasure. Hey, man, the fear of the Most High God is his treasure, man. Right? How you doing, sister? Hey, how you doing, brother? What's your, what's your guys' nationality? You Hispanic? No? Sister, you're an Israelite from the tribe That's of Judah, right, You gotta separate from the enemy, man. That's right! right. I should have known that he wasn't Hispanic with that huge nose, man. Right, Reed? Behold the, be, behold the value. Okay. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of 
with thy tongue uh -huh. and strength of salvation. Right? The fear of the Lord is his trust. Now we're going to need this wisdom and knowledge, man, to be the stability of the times that we are entering into, man. Let me get 2 Timothy real quick, brother. 2 Timothy, chapter 3, right? Starting verse 1. We'll read all the way to 7. Let's find out about these times that we're getting ready to enter into in these last days, man. Because no. we're going to need this wisdom and knowledge, man, to stabilize us, man, right? With what's about to happen to the so-called blacks. This man is the name of America, man. Right? right? Because understand, man, that our enemies know what's going on. So they're going to try to do everything in their power, man, right? So that they can continue to live in wickedness. So that their time lasting on earth is going to last forever. So what are they going to do? They're going to end up coming at the men of the Lord, right? The so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, man, right? And start afflicting us, man. So we're going to need wisdom, knowledge, and stability, man, in these times that we're entering into, man. 2 Timothy chapter 3, starting at verse 1. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Get out. Get out. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. So perilous times shall come. Right? right? These are the times that are coming where the scripture says that we're going to need knowledge and wisdom to be stabilized from these perilous times, man. Right? We need salvation, man, from these perilous times. Read. For men shall be lovers of their own self. Uh -huh. Covetous boasters. Right? Proud blasphemers. Right? Disobedient to parents. Right. You even got a lot of our Israelite kids, man. Don't even honor their father and mother no more, man. Right. Talking about you take out the trash, mommy. Right? Just all out wickedness, all out of order, man. Right? Because the father damn left the household, dealing with the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Right? Now the curses have failed on a woman of Deuteronomy 28 and 56. Right? Now her son don't even want to listen to her. You know what I'm saying? It's all out wickedness, you know, and all out of order in the household, man. Right? Oh, These oh, are the times yeah, right, that we are living in right now, man. Read. He's unthankful and unholy. Right? Unthankful and unholy, man. Right? Unthankful that the Most High God made you an Israelite, brother. That's right, brother. Right? You can go. See, that could be his honor today. He said, ah, uh, that's an Ethiopian. <laughs> Did we talk to him before? All praise the Most High. All praise the Most High. Now separate from Moabite. Read. Without natural affection. Uh huh. Truth breaker. Right. False accuser. Right. Innocent, fierce despisers. Right. Of those that are good. Right. Incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. Hey, brother, we are here for you. We got two scriptures for you, man. Right? You're in Hebrew, brother. That's right. That's Do you right. see yourself That's on the side, King? That's right. I am Hebrew. That's right, That's right. brother. You would probably be from the tribe of Judah, right? Yes, indeed. So-called American black man, right? Yes, sir. All praise the side. My name is Brother Zamron, King. Say that. I'm right? Sorry. Let me show you how you know that you're an Israelite, man. Because it's more than just knowing that you're an Israelite. You got to do something about that, right? That's right, man. Because we're living in the last days, man. Right. And love is keeping the commandments. And we truly love our people up here, man. Right. So we're going to give you some commandments, man, so that it can be the stability of your times that we're getting ready to enter into. Aren't you seeing a bunch of war going on between Russia and Ukraine right now? And this is prophesied in the scriptures that are signs so that our people know, God's people know, that he's coming back to come and redeem us soon. Right? And he's coming to destroy this place, man. Right? Let's send the war, man. Right? Drop that. Right? Let me get, um... Yes, I'm going to show you. Let me go to Revelation. Read Revelation chapter 17. That's the spirit. Go to Revelation chapter 17. Revelation! Slide at verse, um... Read at verse 5. Revelation! Chapter 17! Uh, start at verse... Matter of fact, slide at verse 1. Verse 1! And there came one of the seven angels, mm -hmm. which had the seven vials, right. and talked with me, saying unto me, uh -huh. Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore right. that sitteth upon many waters. Jump to 15 again, right? So there's a judgment that's going to come upon this great whore, right? We're going to find out who this great whore is. Because the scripture says that this great whore is sitting upon many waters. Now, the Bible is actually spoken in similitudes and metaphors, according to Hosea 12 and 10, so that our enemies won't be able to decode what the Most High God is telling you, brother, right, in these last days to be prepared. So let's find out what these waters are, right? Read. Chapter 15, verse... Revelation 17, verse 15. Revelation... You know, saying 17, yep. Chapter 17, verse 15. Follow the song. Chapter 17, verse 15. Listen to, this, Listen to this. Here's your answer. And he saith unto me, uh -huh. The waters which thou sawest, right. where the whore sitteth, right. are peoples and multitudes mm -hmm. and nations and tongues. Right, and nations and tongues. Now jump back to, so now we know that this great whore that we read about in Revelation 17 and 1, 
right? That sits upon many waters. We just read that the waters are nations, people, multitudes, and tongues, right? So obviously, it's dealing with some type of chief nation, right? That all these other nations look up to, right? Let's find out. Jump to verse 5. Uh, 17. Chapter 17, verse 5. And upon her four, verse 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Now, we're talking about this great whore. This great whore was arrayed in purple, scarlet, and color. Because this great whore we're talking about is America, bro. Right? Because all these other nations look up to America. And doesn't America try to make themselves look all glamorous, right? Look at this right now. With all their damn Christmas lights. It's damn March, man. It's right? March. Read. <laughs> and deck and de with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand, uh -huh. full of abominations and... Full, full of abominations and what? And filthiness uh -huh. of her fornication. So this woman has a cup, right, that she pours out on all the nations and is filled with nothing but filthiness, abominations, and fornication. That's now right. we're going to find out what this whore is called. Next verse. Verse 5. Verse 5, chapter 17. And upon her forehead was the name written Mystery Babylon the Great. What is America called? Mystery, Mystery Babylon, Babylon the, the Great. Great. The mother of harlots mm -hmm. and abominations of the earth. So this place is called the New England. As soon as the word comes out, say, Big facts. Now, so you got your answer, right? That was Revelation chapter 17. Right? Just read the entire chapter. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put this up on my Southwest. All praises, all praises. Hey, and make sure that you take a picture of that white box over there, man. On that last time, we got a YouTube channel. You can hit subscribe, man, and learn more about yourself. Bring out this piece up, King. Yeah. There's a precept on Babylon that you call God for you, King. Check this out, brother. This is the word I like. Right? We're going to deal with our people, man. Read. Oh, praise the son of Osiris, man. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. That's this right. whole place is going to end up being destroyed by international continental ballistic missiles. That's right. Right? Chiefly dealing from the hands of these other nations that are over there on the east. Right. Right? With Russia, Russia Iran. Iran. Right? Because right. all these other nations, they can't stand America no more. Right. right? They got all their missiles aimed towards here, man. Right. right? It's going to go further. Oh yeah, man, World War III is getting ready to kick off. Right. We're living in the end times. That's what we're teaching about right now. Right, right. And we got to repent, brother, and come back to keeping the commandments because we love you, King. And we don't want you to be killed amongst your enemies who break, rock, and murder you, man. Right. That's not fair, man, that you have to walk at the bottom of this earth, man. Right? And then all of a sudden you find out you're an Israelite, but you don't do the things that you need to do and then you miss out. Right. So you've got to do the things that you need to do as far as keeping the commandments. Right? Bring this up. The book of Leviticus. Chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. What does the Lord say? Ye shall not round the corners of your head. So, brother, you got an established hairline, right? If you start to get older, right? You know how sometimes when you get older, that hairline starts to diminish a little bit, right? Or you start to get bald patches and stuff like that. You can't take like a smooth, or like an actual razor and literally smooth shade your entire head to right. match it up like Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay to cut it low. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta have some hair up there, man. Right? right? right, right, right. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou bar the corners of thy beard. So brother, you got a beard. I'm seeing it, and I can tell that you've been cutting it. Now, you didn't know that that was a command. Well, brother, you didn't know that that was a commandment. You just learned it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, and this is love, brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? You see, like, I've never saved, brother. But now I learned. Is that what it said? The beard? I don't know. I don't know. You got to keep that beard. You got to grow a mighty beard, brother. Right? That's a commandment. Right? Because when you shave your beard, you're going to end up getting bumps. 
right? And this only happens to our people, right? The rest of the nations, like the so-called white man, he's got a Gillette commercials, right? Shaves off, we don't get those, man, right? So we got to have a mighty beard, brother. Like Rick Ross, man, right? This type of beard we got to have in these last days. Or just do it the best way you possibly can. Like, brother, I'm doing my best. I finally got a couple of hairs that end up connected, you know what I mean? Got a little chin strap, you know? But I'm not going to cut off that little hair, right? Just because it looks kind of scraggly. Hey, I'm one of mighty beard. That said the Lord. Uh, Leviticus 19, uh, 17, brother, show. Leviticus 19, 17. If you don't mind. Right? And if you get me, um... You give me Ecclesiastes. 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 Chapter 19, verse 17. No. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So who was your brother according to the Most High God? Your people, brother, which would be here on this list, brother. The Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those are your brothers. Those are your sisters. So you cannot hate them in your heart. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. What should we do? Rebuke thy neighbor. When you see me doing something wrong, right, as an Israelite, I would want you to correct me based on the scriptures because that's real love, right? That's why we out here, man, to teach our people, man. Let me get Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. So he knows what we out here for, man, right? Thus said the Lord, read. And not suffer sin upon him. Because we don't want sin, right, to suffer upon him. Right? Because this place, hey, sin has reached up to an all-time high, which is why the Most High God is revisiting this place with famine, pestilence, right? We're seeing a famine already, man. They go to 7-Eleven, they out of Gatorade, man. Go to Walmart, man, they out of chicken, man. Right? We're seeing this all over the place. We're now seeing a famine of gas prices, man. Making it hard for people just to drive to work, man. We just came from California where gas prices was $5 a gallon, right? Man, right? That's a famine. These are signs that Christ told us that we were going to be uh, uh, transitioning to the end. Can you give me Matthew 24 real quick? Yeah, bring this up. Uh, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. What did the Lord say? Cry aloud. Uh -huh. Spare not. Uh -huh. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Uh -huh. And show my people their transgressions. Uh -huh. And the house of Jacob their sin. That's what we come out here to do, brother. We come in out here to show our people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, their transgressions, their sins. We have to lift up our voice like a trumpet, right? Because there's all types of wickedness going around here, man, right? You have already seen three people try to come to distract you from the word, man. And you've only been up here for like five minutes, man, right? Hey, and we get it all day, but guess what? We're gonna go through that because we truly love you, brother. That's right. These are the type of things that we go through. Hey, this brother had a bottle, man, right? Hit on the top of his head, man, right? Hey, man, I've been arrested by the police, man, and put in jail, man, right, for doing this, man. Guns put out on me, man, just for waking up our people because they know they don't want us to return to our heritage. Because the longer we keep calling ourselves African American and living in the ways of America, the longer their time is gonna be raining here on this wicked earth. Bring this up. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. Uh -huh. And ye shall hear of wars uh -huh. and rumors of wars. Right. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. So all these things are going to come to pass, these wars and rumors of wars, read. But the end is not yet. The end is not yet. We're transitioning to the end. We're seeing signs of the end. This is why you have the time, brother, to repent. You can drop that. Uh, what you got? You got some number. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Now, this is the commandment. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them right. that they make them fringes right. in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their right. generations. And are we still generating as a people, brother? Right? So the scriptures, the most high God says that you as an Israelite, you gotta wear fringes, brother. That's right. right? On the borders of all your garments, man. Throughout your generations. Let's find out why though. Continue to read Bible shot. And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders right. a ribbon of blue. Uh -huh. And it shall be unto you for a fringe right. that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So it's not just for a fashion show, man. The Most High God wants His chosen people, He wants you, brother, to get you some fringes. Make sure you got that border of a ribbon of blue because blue is a royal color. These are fringes, brother. It doesn't matter what color the fringes are, long as you got that ribbon of blue, right? You see what I'm saying? See, the brother's styling, he kind of got like the Seahawks, you know what I'm saying, type. you feel me, right? And that's our, that's our trip, man, right? The Chinese man gets to wear his garments, nobody says nothing, right? 
But hey, we gotta come back to who we truly are. And we wear this, brother, so that we can keep the commandments. That's right. Because the moment that we feel like we're gonna go off, brother, because we're all in corruptible bodies. That's right. right. We love you. I'm not gonna lie to you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I cut up sometimes, right? That's why I thank the most high God for grace, man. That's why I get on my knees. Face the east, man, right? Because that's where we're from, right? And pray to Yahweh, because that's his name. Say that with me. Say Yahweh. That's right. And his son's name, who the world evenly calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shah. Say Yahweh Shah. See that? See how naturally that came off your lips both times, brother? Because you speak ancient Paleo Hebrew. That is your original language, man, right? This English, Spanish, and all this other stuff came from our oppressors, man. Right? So we gotta keep the commandments. Could you give me a busy ass chapter 12 verse 13? Could you give God your boy? The book of Cyrat, otherwise known as Ecclesiasticus. Huh? Chapter 36 and verse 11. No. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. What did the Lord say? Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. So as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God shows the people of Israelites. That's so right. Most God says, hey, we gotta gather amongst each other, including you in that car, brother. Right? We love you, King. All right, we got to gather amongst each other in these last days, man. Why? Because we're stronger in number, man, right? If, we don't, if we're separating from each other, man, right, we're not strong as a unit, man, right? Read. And inherit thou them as from the beginning. And we're going to inherit these other nations, man, right? Like it was set up in the beginning, right? But we lost our way by not keeping the commandments. Read. Verse 12. Huh? O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel. Upon who? Israel! Israel. Whom thou hast named thy firstborn. We are his firstborn. We are his children, man. Right? right? We are his chosen people. Right. So these com right. So these commandments are only given to us. Can I get Psalms 147, 19 and 20, Robert Shaw? And bring this up. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So this is the conclusion of the whole matter of why the Most High God made you, made you, brother, right, an Israelite. Come up here, King. We're family, right? Listen to this. Fear, Yahweh. What did the Lord say? Fear, Yahweh. We gotta fear the Most High God, Yahweh, man. Read and keep His commandments. And do what? And keep His. Commandments. Do not allow the lies from Christianity Church to tell us that we don't have to keep the commandments no more because Christ died on the cross. Christ died on that cross so that we wouldn't be killed for breaking the Shabbat. Today's the Sabbath, man, right? Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, man, is a day of rest. That's right. Right? Because God rested on that day. That's right. And weren't we made in his image? So we got to operate like the ways of the Most High God. Read. For this it's the whole duty of man. Yeah, that's the whole reason why you're standing here right now. He could have made you a so-called Edomite or a, a white person, right? But he decided to make you an Israelite, brother. That's right. Right? You can't, man, that, that's the gift that is given to you, brother. Right? If somebody gives me a, a, a pair of uh, some J's, right, brand new pair of J's, right, and I, and I need them, you know what I'm saying, and I'm not wearing them, then what good use is it, man? Right. Right? Right. So, brother, you know you're an Israelite. Right? We're giving you these commandments. Now you have to do them, bro. Right? Because what good use is knowing that you're an Israelite and then you're not living like it? Sisters, this is your last chance, sister. We are here for you. Come on, sister. Come on, sister. You gotta keep the commandments, sister. We love you, sister. Come on, sister. All praise in the most high, man. Let's give the sister a hand, man. All praise. Gonna get Judah 10. You know, man. Judah 10 and 19. I got a scripture for you, sister, right? And we're teaching our brother that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. We are out here, us three are out here for you, right? We could have been doing something on our own. I got kids, I got a family, they don't want the house right now. I've been at work since four, five, four this morning, right? But who cares? Because all I care about is you. All I care about is you. And guess who else cares about you? Christ, we get Matthew 15, 24. Bring this up. Look at Judah, chapter 11, verse 21. There is not such a woman. There is not such a what? There is not such a woman from one end of the earth to the other, both for beauty of face and wisdom of words. All right, see, our women were created to be beautiful, were created to be wise, were created to be submissive to their men, keepers at the home, right? Virtuous women. That's but right. our women have lost their way because we've learned from our oppressors, right? And it's been a history of repeating of that, right? Read. The book of Judith, chapter 10, verse 19. Oh. And they wondered at her beauty and admired the children of Israel because of her. See, at 
at one point, all these other nations admired the real Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because of her, the Israelite woman. Right, Greek. And everyone said uh -huh. to his neighbor, right. who would despise this people uh -huh. that have among them such women? Mm. Surely it is not good that one man of them be left, who being let go uh -huh. might deceive the whole earth. So our women were virgins, right? And at one point, all the other nations were like, who would despise the Israelites that have such women, right? But now, our women, they operate in the ways of Megan the Stallion, right. right? They operate in the ways, you know what I'm saying, of all these wicked women, right. Cardi B's, God. right? Things of that nature, girls. city girls, right? City right. girls, right? Wickedness, right? Wickedness. Right? Wickedness. And now, their daughters, you know what I'm saying, now the little girls is coming up now, now they think it's cool to just twerk at age two, right. right? Got the mama sitting there, you know what I'm saying, uh, filming it and putting it all over the damn internet for a damn white man pedophile to look at, man, right? right. right? And we've lost our ways, man, right? right? And the Most High God sent his son Christ for our people and our people only. Bring this up. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 23. Uh, 24. Verse 24. Right. But he answered and said, This is Christ, right? He's speaking to his people, right? Read. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Actually, he was speaking to a heathen, right? He is only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? That's us. You see, that brother's got some knowledge. He's trying to teach you, man. Right? This brother's receiving the word. That's man. right. Right? Y'all can walk all together and continue to learn about this word, man. Right? And become mighty in this thing, man. Because he's only sent to you, sister. He's only sent to you, brother. Right? So bring this up. Deuteronomy 22. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring Christ up. comes in the entire volume of the book. So if Christ says that he loves his people and his people only, don't you love Christ? Don't you love the most high God? So if you love him, love is keeping the commandments. Right. right? So let's find out what we are commanded to do. Let's find out what our sisters are commanded to do and what our men are commanded to do. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. See? So you got Dwayne Wade's daughter, or whatever the hell that is. You know what I'm saying? It was a man. It was born a boy. Now they, you know what I'm saying, showcasing him like a damn girl, man. Putting on a woman's garment. Right? And women, we're not supposed to wear pants, right? Because that ain't even come into the effect until the 50s. Before right. that, all of our women, they wore dresses. Right. It's a mighty thing to wear a dress. Right. right? And you you got one of the uh, Spanish, right? But you can put a dress over that, sister. That's right. Right? You can still have that. I know it's cold out here. We live in Seattle. But right. you can easily put a dress over that. That's right? right? It's a beautiful thing. So, sister, <laughs> we love you, sister. You're an Israelite, sister, okay? That's right. All right? We just should. Five. That's easy, man. Brother, thank y'all, brothers, for the word. I'm about to go over there and tell you guys enough to put it on my chair. And you're recording, right? Yes, sir. All present on side. All present. So what I want you to do, what I'll give you a homework assignment. You still recording? Yes, sir. All right. Your homework assignment is to go get a King James Bible. You can get it on your phone or your app. I want you to read Deuteronomy, chapter 28. There's only 68 verses, 1 through 68, right? After you read all those verses, right? Then you got the information, right, for the YouTube channel. I want you to get in contact with me on the comment board. Send me an email, man, right? And let's stay in contact with each other, right? Right. Thus said the Lord. So you're an Israelite, brother, from the tribe of what? Israel. From the tribe of, uh, from the tribe of, uh, 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 the tribe of Israel. Uh, Israel, Israelite from the tribe of what? That's, that's right. right. Say that loud. Is that, that where you're from too, brother? That's, that's right. Okay. You're just like your father's uh, so-called black man? Sure. Okay, I'll praise them all side. I got two scriptures for you if you don't mind. Sure. Right? Sure. From the tribe of Judah, man. Right? I'll praise them all side. Let's give this brother a huge form your swallow. Form your swallow. Form your swallow. That means rise Israel. Right? And we're going to blow this so far for you, King. Yes, sir. Ah. Ah. That's love, brother. And love is keeping the commandments, King. Seattle's West City Music Media. Y'all check it out. Y'all oh. see it on here. I'm going to go over that homework, man. Okay. All friends on both sides. Come on. And get you some fringes, too, brother. Yes, All right. sir. Get you some fringes. That's, That's the first step. Friend. Right? right. Man, and, man. and no more pork, no more right. shrimp, crab, and lobster. All right? All right? That's abominable, okay? Say that. Say that. Right? All friends on both sides, man. How you doing, King? What's your, doing? What's your nationality, King? What's your nationality? You see yourself on the side right here? Come over here, King. 
What's wrong? Would you consider yourself a so-called African American? Yes, yeah, so from the tribe of Judah, King, right? And we are here to teach you, man, to keep the commandments because the Most High God is coming back for His people and His people only, right. right? The Israelites, which is who you are, from the tribe of Judah, brother, right? And our people from the tribe of Judah back in the day, man, right? They operated like kings, That's right. right? You wouldn't see King David, right, with a cigarette in his mouth. That's right. Right? Thus said the Lord. At all. Right? You want to be like a king, man, because that's, that's right. how the Most High God truly made you, brother. Right? You up here in the presence of the Lord, man. Right? You can put the cigarette away, right? As we give you some commandments. Is that okay? You can put that cigarette away, right? As you stand up here with the men of the Lord. Well, brother, if you're more concerned about life and spirit, brother, that cigarette's not going to save you, right? When this place gets destroyed, man. If you would have known about that, brother, you would put the cigarette down and come learn right. your nationality, brother. Exactly. Right? Put down the white man's drug. It's going to give you nothing but cancer, man. Right. right? Clint Eastwood is the only one that can smoke cigarettes and stay alive. Because right. guess what? He's a so-called white man, right? Right. Can I say something? Right? Can I say one thing? Yeah, go ahead. If this was the tribe of Judah, and I was speaking about uh, uh, religion or, you know what I mean? Well, this is not a religion. At all. Okay. okay. What? That's, that's racist. Give me, Roman. give me. Oh, the most I got is racist. Give me, Romans, right. give me Romans 9 and 13. Yeah, right. Are you going to walk away? Or are you going to hear the scripture? God is love, brother. Let's find out. Romans 9 and 13, God. man. Romans! Right? And that's what our people do. They cool. And 13. They just cool and walk off. Right. Right. What did God say? Jacob, have I love. The Israelites have I love, but what? But Esau. But the white man? But Esau. That's the what? Have I hated. The most I got says that he hates who? You scripture. Now you came back. You felt that, right? Right. Did the Most High God just say that He hates somebody? Hey. Read it again. Romans nine and thirteen. Romans nine. Listen, listen. Verse thirteen. Right. As it is, as it is written. Right. Jacob, have I loved? Jacob's name got changed to Israel, brother. That consists who's our forefathers and so-called black. Listen. Love, right? We're gonna find out what love is according to scriptures. Read. As it is written. Right? Jacob, Jacob have, have I, I loved, love, right? but, but Esau, Esau white man, but Esau <laughs> have I hated. hated. Let's find out who Esau is. Since he, you don't believe that Esau. Anything in there say hated? Did it just say man. Esau have I hated? Who, oh, you know what? Who cares if it's a white man or not? Did it just say that Jacob have I loved? What is love, man? Give me John fourteen. I don't got time for this. John fourteen fifteen. What does it say? Man. White people are destroyed for a lack of bro. knowledge, man. John 14, 15. Let's find out what love is, man. Right? Just no. love. It's ridiculous, man. Right? Our people are going to be destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They don't even got two seconds, man, to hear it, man. Right? Read this. John, John. 14, verse 15. 14, verse 15. Bring it out. If ye love me, uh -huh. keep my commandments. Right. That's just that simple. You can drop that. If you truly love the Most High God, if you truly love your own people, you're going to keep the commandments, man. So when you see your people down here on the highways and hedges, man, giving out commandments from the Most High God, right? It should compel you to want to stop and receive this stuff, man. That's right. Because it's only for you and you only, man. Thus said the Lord, man. And why can't our people get that through their thick head, man, in these last days, man? Right? Because they want to continue to live in the way of wickedness, man. And they're going to find themselves being destroyed, man, here in Babylon the Great. That's right! right? While we are seeing prophecy unfold right now, man, right? You got Edomites fighting against Edomites, man, right? Hey, we love that, man. Thus said the Lord. Come on! Come on, man. All right, let me get, um, drop that, man. Let me get Job chapter 9, verse 24, man. Classic. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Huh. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Joel. Joel. Oh, Joel. Yep. Okay. Book of Joel. You good, King? Joel chapter nine, verse twenty-four. Can I get a Hebrew? You got a precept? The book of Joel chapter nine, verse twenty-four. You, you give me Hebrews one and one. And it reads: The earth is given into the, the hands of the wicked. wicked. Uh -huh. He covered the faces of, of the, the judges thereof. thereof. Right. If not, where and who, who is he? See, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, man. Right. He covered the faces of the true judges, man, right? And the scripture's saying that if not, if it ain't the so-called white man, then who is it, right? Because we know it's the so-called white man that repainted this image, man, to Cesar Borgia, sixth son of Alexander the Pope, man, who was a homosexual, man, right? 
when the scripture says that Christ had hair of wool, right? And skin of the fine brass, man. Right? As if he burned in a furnace, man. So who the hell is this guy, man? Thus said the Lord, man. Right? So we got to get back, man, to these commandments. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Get out, get out. Jehovah, who at the sundry times and in divers manners spake in the past, spake in time past uh -huh. unto the fathers by the prophets. See, the Most High God always spoke to the prophets, man, dealing with times past. Right. Which is how we know what's going on in these days of now, man. Right. Because we're learning from our righteous forefathers and fathers. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Lay up on some. Hey, we are here for you, man. Wow. You don't got to be afraid of your own people, man. Right. Dude, That's Seattle for you, though, bro. Right. right? Hey, a lot of the, hey, a lot of our, hey. <laughs> bro, there's a lot of coons out here, man. We can't make this stuff up, man. At all. At, right. They Sorry. all think that they're Edomites, man. Right. right. They walk like Edomites. Right. right. That's what they do, man. Yeah. Right. Then when they see their own people, they... Right. right, just wickedness, man. Evil right. eye to Evil eye brother. their brother. That's right. Right, Deuteronomy 28, 54. Maccabees on the road right now. Right, read, uh, matter of fact, drop that. Give me Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Because the Most High God only reveals to things to his prophets, man. Right? And the times that we're living in right now, right, where you got white people fighting against white people, right, right in the Middle East. Call Holyam. Call Holyam was set to happen from the beginning. Right. And our prophets spoke about these things, man. Can right. I get Jeremiah 28 and 8, if you don't mind, Bob, with yourself, right? Jeremiah 28 and 8. When you get me Amos, right, chapter 3, uh, verse 7, man. Nice. Thus saith the Lord. Got it? Yep. Okay, you're almost there. You're almost there, King. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. Get up, King. The prophets that have been before me uh -huh. and before thee, of old, of old yep. prophesied both. What did they say? Against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms. Right, and that's what we're doing. We prophesying against this wicked ass country, America, right? Who's done nothing but rape, robbed, and murder, right? From the hands of the so called white man, right? right? That's what we are here to prophesy, right? That's so, right. And no wicked shall flee with no man pursue it. Read. <laughs> Slavia. Which have prophesied. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. You know? The prophets that have been before me uh -huh. and before the of old prophesied both against many countries right? and great kingdoms right? of war. Of what? Of war. Of war right? And of evil. And of what? And of evil. Right? And of pestilence. And that's what we are here to do. That's right. what we're going to continue to come out here to do. That's the right. real men of the Lord, right, taught about pestilence, war, right. famine, and evil, man. That's right. right. They didn't come out here, right, talking like these wicked-ass Christian pastors, man. Right. right. Talking about come as you are, man. Right. right. Talking about it's okay to be a homosexual. God loves you. Right. right? Hey, man, all homosexuals will be put to death. That's right. The Lord, man. All so-called white people is getting put to death. That's Thus right. Said the Lord. And will be extinct in the Lord's kingdom. Come right? On. Thus said the Lord. Let me get Amos chapter 3, verse 7, right? Because this stuff was revealed to the prophets, man. Right? And the prophets are Israelites, man. Right? Don't come up here unless you want to get war on in the lion's den. We're not out here for you. You can keep it pushing. Give them their Real talk. Give them with your damn stick. I need y'all to go lift weights, man, before you come back and visit us, man. Right. Get strong and get prepared to go into slavery. Right. Do what your people have done to God's chosen people. Right. Thus said the Lord. Now, bring this out. Amos 3 and 7. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Yeah. Surely the, the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing, uh -huh. but he revealeth his secret secrets. unto his servants. He will reveal his secrets unto his servants, which are who? The prophets. The prophets, man. That's right. right? And the prophets spoke of war. The prophet spoke of famine. The prophet spoke of pestilence. The prophet spoke of evil, man. Right? Times that are going to come amongst our enemies, man. Right? But we got to understand that judgment happens at the house of the Most High God first. Drop that. Let me get 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. Baba Kasha. I ain't going to be too long. Get ready to wrap this up, man. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. Ah, all praise to the Most High, man. 1 Peter. Chapter 4, verse 17. Cold out here. Got that hand. Got your hands go. Got the pages crisp. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There he is. First Peter, man. Right? First Chapter Peter. Chapter 4, verse 17. Chapter 4. 
Verse 17. Yeah. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. Right. And it, and if it first begin at us, uh -huh. what shall the end be are of you, them? Are you guys lesbian? Huh? I'm just asking the question. You got pants on, right? right. Gross. Holding on to each other. It's gross. Cooties. 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 Three. What shall the end be of them that obey not right. the gospel of your home? See? And what's going to be the end of those who don't obey the true gospel, right? Of the Most High God, right? And the true gospel, according to Luke chapter 1, verse 67, is the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans being delivered from the hands of our enemies in these last days, man, right? And being brought into salvation, man, in the Lord's kingdom. Right? So those who don't want to do the work, so those who don't want to do the work, right? You're going to end up missing out, man. Right? Those who don't want to repent and come back to the Most High God, you're going to miss out. How you doing, brother? What's your nationality? Can you see yourself on the sign right here? You so-called black man? Right? You're from the tribe of Judah, brother. Right? You're an Israelite. Come talk to me for a second, man. Come talk to me. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I hear you. I hear you. Hey, real quick. You got your phone? Got a phone? Got a phone? Oh, he bugged out, man. Bugged out. What are you doing, man? I don't see, there's, there's no Simba in your hands, man. This is not the Lion King, brother. We not, it's just some wickedness, man, right? Yeah, drop that, man. So judgment's gonna happen at the house of God first, man. Thus said the Lord, man. So we gotta prepare ourselves, man, right? Otherwise, you're gonna end up being bugged out, man. Let me get to around 28, verse 28. You're gonna end up being bugged out, broken in the noon and at the night, man, right? Brother just kind of walked up here and then kind of just put his hands up like he damn had Simba in his hand or something, man. Right? It makes no sense. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Uh -huh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness right? and blindness right? and astonishment of the heart. See, y'all people have been smiting with madness, man. Right. Blindness. Astonishment of the heart, right? We're astonished at the heart, man, because of all the rape, robbery, and murder that's been done to our people. It seems like we have no hope. But we're waking up in these last days and realize that we always had hope from the beginning. Right. We just fled away from that true hope, man. Right. right? And then chased after the fake hope, man, from our enemies, man. Right? Who sit there and smile in our face, man, with a sword behind their back, man. Right. right? Thus said the Lord, man. Right? Read. And thou shalt grow at noonday. Right. And our people are broken at noonday, man. Right. right. In the middle of the damn day, man, they own drugs, man. Read. And the blind grope is in darkness. Right, and even in darkness, man, they're going to continue to just be all bugged out of the mind, man. Right, read. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. Right, you can't prosper in your ways that the Most High God is trying to establish for you if you continue to keep following the so-called walking man in his right. ways, man. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed. Right, and that's why we're oppressed as a people, brother. Across the street, brother. Hey, hey, you. You a Hispanic? You're an Israelite, brother, from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. You're God's chosen people. We That's love you, right. dude, And you got to repent to keep the commandments. Come right? on. Call up, y'all about sin, y'all shy, man. Right, read. And spoiled even more. Mm -hmm. And no man shall save thee. And realize that no man is going to be able to redeem us out of this captivity. That's right. We know who's going to redeem his chosen people out of this captivity, which is Christ, man. Right. Right? That's how this whole thing was set up. How you doing, fam? I know you're working, King. I don't know if you remember us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All praise to the most high, man. We still love you. We still love you, fam. You're an Israelite the Bible speaks of, all right? right. All praise to the most high, man. Right? Say what? Alright, brother. Repent, brother. Right? Might have to pray for that brother tonight, man. Thus said the Lord, man. Right? Let's wrap this up, man. Let me get our revelation. Right? Let me get Genesis 49 and 1. You give me Revelation uh, chapter 18. Chapter 18, yeah, verse 21. 21. Mm -hmm. Revelation! I think Isaiah 44 is here. I want that. Salak here. Salak here. Isaiah! Chapter 44, verse 12. Oh, praise him on all sides. 44, verse 12. Bring it out! The smith with the tongue! Salak here, man. No, 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 you have the right one. I, I pulled the wrong verse. Just uh, give me uh, Revelation 18, 21. Salak, you out. Yep. Revelations 18, verse 21. Yep. And a mighty angel took up a stone, uh -huh. like a great millstone, right? and cast it into the sea, uh -huh. saying, What'd he say? Dust with violence. No, dust with
with hugs. Dust with violence! Hey, dust with violence, man. We're seeing a bunch of violence going on right now, man, on all four corners of the earth. That's right. And it's the most high God who's stirring up the spirits in these nations, man, to do these things, man. That's right. And there's nothing that you can do about it, man. Right? If you're an Israelite, you don't like what's going on, right? You feel like, you know what I'm saying, you're getting a little afraid because this world's about to come to naught, man. Right. right? Understand that this stuff is supposed to happen. That's right. right. With the violence, man. Read. Dust with violence! Uh -huh. Shall that great city, Babylon, be thrown down! And this is why this great city, Babylon, has to be thrown down. Right? You got a bunch of Edomites walking around with heads looking like damn raccoons, man. Any problems, man? Right? right? Next one down six, man. Right? Three. And shall be found no more at all! And this place is going to be found no more at all. Right? I don't want to see Edomites, man. Right? With them damn hats on, man, of the kingdom, man. Right? No, I want to see Edomites in the kingdom, man, right? Being slaves, man, right? Hard bondage and labor, man, right? right. Double the reward, right, of what they did with us, man. Right. right? Thus said the Lord. Bring this up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy. He shall what? He, he shall, shall stir up jealousy. Hey, we're seeing all types of jealousy being stirred up in these last days, man. Right? Russia jealous of Ukraine. Ukraine jealous of Russia, man. Right? All these other nations jealous of America now, man. Right? The Most High God is stirring this up, man. And we say, call all y'all. Yahweh, but some of us y'all come like y'all shy. Read. Like a man of war. Like a man of what? Like a man of war. Right? He shall cry. Mm. Yay. Roar. Right. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. And we're gonna do, this place is gonna be devoured by Yahweh by Shimei That's right. right. That's right. Chiefly from the hands of these Israelites, man, right? And these damn chariots, man, right? Who are gonna come down, man, right? And shoot these beams, man, right? And blow this place up, man, right? So these are things we gotta understand, right. sister. What's your nationality? You so called black woman? You're an Israelite, sister, and you're so called black woman, all right? right. You gotta refrain to keep the commandments. That's right. That's in the, the world. Lord. Right, talk about have a good night. I'll have a good night once I'm out of this damn place. That's right. right. Let me get Genesis 49 and 1. We're the book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 1. Yeah. And Jacob uh -huh. called unto his sons right. and said. What did he say? Gather yourselves together. No, stop. Gather your, no, don't gather yourselves around your own people. Gather yourselves together. Hang out with the so-called white men. Gather yourselves together. That I may tell you that which shall befall you. In the last days. You see, you gotta gather yourselves amongst your brethren, your Akim, your Aqua in these last days, man. Because we're gonna be the ones that's gonna tell you, right? right. And prepare you with these commandments so that you won't get caught up, man, right, right in the land of the living, man. Right. right? Your enemies are not, they, you, you wanna gather around your enemies, they're not gonna give you no truth, man. They're gonna tell you to continue to live in sin, man. That's right? right? And you're gonna end up getting blown the hell up, That's right? right? By international continental ballistic missiles, man. That's right. right. And that would not be fair, man. That our ancestors had gone into slavery, right? And now we're waking up to who we truly are. That's we right. Realizing that salvation is for us, but we still follow our oppressors, man. Who are set up to be destroyed, man. Yes, you are set up to be destroyed. God. Right. And get prepared for that, man. Thus right? says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Bill Nye, the science guy, man. Right. Like Bill Nye the Science. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Ha! <laughs> ah, that's the ah. spirit! Ah. Ah. And with that, I want to say, call Holly Yah, Yahweh, Bashim. I'm going to see y'all come with Shai. I want to end this with a huge. Quam Yashrala. Quam Yashrala. Quam Yashrala.